no justice, no peace. You have no peace, no justice, no peace. You have no peace, no justice, no peace. We are here to protest the lack of help from our elected members of Congress for Gaza, for Palestinians, and for the rights of Americans. Gaza has been under siege for years. Last year, seven boats went to Gaza, and they were stopped by the Israeli Navy. They killed nine people. They stole millions of dollars of property. The siege continues, only marginally better window dressing. And so there's another attempt, this time bigger, this time maybe 1,500 people. The Mavi Marmara was slated to go in an American ship, which was named the Audacity of Hope, to try to remind the president of his rhetoric for human rights, he certainly not come through. And neither of our Congress people. Last year, after the massacre on the Mavi Marmara, all five of our members of Congress in Connecticut joined a letter in support of the guilty party, in support of the Israeli government, shamefully saying, this attack on the high seas was an act of self-defense. Now, since that time, Senator Blumenthal was elected, but uh, unfortunately, he has not come out for Palestinian rights. We met with him, a number of peace activists, 11 people met with him in April. Until this moment in June, he has not said anything. We've faxed him a letter last night explaining why we were here and he has not said anything either for the rights of Palestinians or that he would support the rights of the Americans going on the boat, two of whom are from Connecticut. Gail Curry Tanzing from Falls Village, Lieber Kosnar from New Britain heroically going on the U.S. boat to Gaza, the audacity of hope and we've not heard one sympathetic word from either of our senators or our members of Congress. We have heard from the State Department, who has called this a provocation. Outrageous. It sounds like the Southern racists back in the 50s who called the Freedom Riders a provocation, a matter of outside agitators. This is noble, heroic humanitarian work in the Gaza Strip, an area the UN told Israel to leave 40 years ago, in which they defy the UN Security Council. So that's why we're here today to say, let the boats in. Members of Congress and President Obama stand up for human rights and for the rights of American citizens and defend the audacity of hope on its trip to the Gaza Strip. Today we stand in solidarity with those taking the boat to Gaza to break the U.S.-Israeli siege. Today we also stand with those who are under attack because they stand in solidarity with the oppressed around the world. Sisters and brothers like Carlos Montes, veteran Chicano activist and immigrant rights leader, whose door was kicked down in the early morning hours by FBI agents with automatic assault weapons drawn. This attack is part of a larger campaign of FBI harassment that has targeted 23 peace and justice, Palestinian and international solidarity activists, including David House, lead organizer for Iraq, uh, lead organizer for Iraq vet and whistleblower Bradley Manning. These activists have been falsely charged, subpoenaed to appear before a grand jury, and asked questions by FBI, FBI agents about political affi affiliation reminiscent of the McCarthy era. This harassment is meant to intimidate those who are opposed to the bankrupt policies of the two parties in power, the Republicans and Democrats. These government tactics are meant to silence those who mobilize thousands 
and one day millions of working people and students against wars and occupations, against the crimes of the Israeli government, against attacks on civil liberties, unions, and the rights of all the oppressed. These activists have done nothing wrong. All they did was extend a hand of solidarity to oppressed workers around the world. The Committee of, to Stop FBI Repression says, drop all charges against Carlos Montes, stop FBI attacks on Chicano and immigrant rights movements, stop FBI repression of anti-war and international solidarity activists. And if you support the Palestinians, instead of assuming the position of the United States in its support for Israel against the Palestinians, then you get your house raided, you get your goods um, taken, and you get subpoenaed in a definite attempt to crush any dissent. Uh, plus, put that with the attack on public sector employees, and I think that there's a, a terribly strong-armed attempt in this country to suppress all dissent. No justice, no peace. You have died for no peace.